Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a salsa lava molcajete. Yes, a molcajete preparado, okay? We're going to be doing your beef version with all the delicious toppings you see here. And we're also going to be doing your salsa verde version with your shrimp. And these friends, if you don't like your animal proteins, don't worry. I'm going to give you a, a lot of details to make this comfortable for your home. So let me go ahead and show you how to make this delicious treat. All right, friends, get ready for this because Cloud and I are currently salivating. I already started roasting my peppers, which you're gonna see in just a moment. So what we're gonna focus on right now is we're gonna focus on roasting our salsas. And there is a few steps, but if you maneuver yourself in the kitchen the way I'm about to do it, it's gonna be super easy for you to do at home. So let me go ahead and get this salsa started. Hey, una salsita. So my pan is pretty hot. We brought the grandpa out again. He's doing well. So you wanna roast your onion your tomatillos and your garlic you got to be careful with your garlic because those are the first one that get roasted and you just got to start moving them to the side as they continue since today I'm gonna be making uh, two different styles um, on the other side of the pan we're gonna get our other salsa started okay so I'm gonna put my tomatoes my onion, you jalapeno. You don't have to have the jalapeno in there. I personally like it. And I'm gonna be choosing a uh, puya today. Two little extra spicy chiles. I've been after some really spicy stuff, so I'm gonna put two of the puya chiles there. You can use a uh, California a guajillo. Um, let me see, arbol japonés. You're just gonna make it however you like. If you don't have any of these and you have cheap tapinas, you can just sprinkle those into your salsa and you're gonna be set. But for me, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna give you guys the exact ingredients that I used here in the measurements and you can find that in the description area. And if you guys don't know how to find that, please let us know in the comments and we'll help you out, okay? So this is gonna take a little bit. So while this is roasting, I'm gonna switch it over here to this uh, back burner and keep an eye on it as I continue to cook for our next step. I mean, this is how you get to cooking really good food quickly in your house. Okay, to my nopales, if you're gonna be using nopales, if you don't have nopales, you can use uh, zucchini. Um, just rub a little bit of citrus over it. Sprinkle with a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna grill it up. And this is gonna be quick, it's not gonna take that long. You want your pan to be pretty hot for this one so that it can just boom, boom, done. Let me check on my chiles back here to make sure we're getting a good roast. While this is uh, starting to sear, I'm gonna come and turn my salsa ingredients over. And at the same time as our nopales are going to town here, we're gonna put in our onions, okay? Ooh, I love the way that lemon made the nopal smell. Good? Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it does. Yay! So what I did is I just put a little bit of oil and a sprinkle of salt over my onions, and we're just gonna let this happen for a little bit. You don't wanna keep your nopal too long here because what happens is that you're gonna start the sliminess you want the sliminess, keep it there long, but if you don't, it should be quick.
Oh yeah. Got those little grill marks that I wanted. That's good for me right there. And some. Okay, friends, so right now, are everything still roasting? Check your stuff. Make sure that everything's going smoothly. You're roasting, you're roasting. <laughs> the house is going to smell delicious at this point. Yes, that's what you want. So now what I have here is a piece of chuck steak, finely chopped, and all I have in here is a little bit of oil, salt, pepper. We're keeping it simple. So we're not doing too much to our beef because the flavor is in your salsa. Salt and pepper, boom, boom, and lime. Yep, salt and pepper, boom, boom, and I'll add the lime just a moment. I like when I call you for recipes and you're like, boom, boom, and I know it's going to be super easy when you say boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, it is boom, boom. All you pretty much have to do here is have your ingredients ready. So once your peppers start um, looking very charred, take them out. You guys have seen me roast plenty, plenty of times. You got a great rendition of it on the spaghetti verde recipe. So I'm not going to move these just yet. I want that side to get pretty, pretty charred for my meat. All right, I'm going to take my chiles de pulla out. You're a roasting machine, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Everybody's getting what they want today, just so you guys know. She works hard for with money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. so hard for with money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my chilas look good here. Let me take my plaquita off and put it in a safe location at home. Please be careful with these. Okay, in the back, I have a little bit of oil. Say it, Pop, say it. Oil. That's right. And I just have some shrimp with a little bit of salt and pepper. So let me wait till that warms up before I add it. Okay. Ooh, look at those real marks. Mm. All right, start moving it around. Oh, yeah. Eight, eight, eight. And then the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and the little party animal comes. Yes. That's how Philly Oya has me dancing. 
Girl, I tried to drink my other coffee. I couldn't. I I'm already know. Yeah. Bomb. Yeah, I already know I'm in a bad situation when that happens. Okay, so what I like to do with my cebollas, I like them with a little bit of mustard. Hey, woo! woo. Not traditional, but you'll never go back to regular onions. Yeah, but it's not traditional, but I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of soy sauce to that. Woo! Yeah, I like that party. Okay, We're going to eat good today, Mama. Woo, that's right. Not that we didn't eat good yesterday, but like, <laughs> girl, that's what we do. Come home cooking. I'm gonna sear my beef really good because I have a lot of the little um oh the beef fat. So I want that crispy crispy. Crispy like my split ends. You don't have split ends. What are you talking? You have the best hair ever. Okay, so now that our pot, our pot, our pan is hot in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp. Todas las cosas se parecen a su dueño. ¿De qué tú estás hablando, mija? The pan, you said it's hot. Ah, yeah, yeah. fuego, fuego. Girl, how good does that smell right now? Amazing. I have my tortilla ready. You have your tortilla ready? Me gusta. <laughs> Okay, friends, while the rest of our stuff is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the chiles real quick. All right, I cleaned my peppers. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my shrimp to the other side. And once you flip those shrimp, have your citrus handy. Yes, girl, I like my little cebollitas with a lot of flavor like this. Okay, friends, I'm going to take my shrimp out because these are cooked just enough for what we need for our next step, okay? I'm going to leave my uh, meat here on this pan because I want it to be super, super charred. It's nice and juicy, and if it's not, it's going to get even juicier. Just saying, okay? So I'm going to transition over here so you guys can see me make the salsas, and then I'll see you shortly. Okay, you guys have seen me make salsa verde before. Same thing here, guys. Just throw it all in and blend. If you don't have an Anaheim, you don't. You should still be okay to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this, and then I'll blend it with my um, set, uh, cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add it. You can still enjoy this recipe, friends. Make sure you adjust your salt to taste, but salsas like this take a lot of salt.
when you get to this point, taste your salsa, see if you like the flavor of it, and, um, and if you don't, adjust it to your liking. <laughs> see what we need in here. Well, that's perfect, yes. I love it. So let me go ahead and pour it in, and then we'll do our other salsa, guys. All right, friends, thank you next time. Next salsa. Same thing, pour it in here. You're gonna adjust your salt to taste and your citrus to taste. For my personal liking, I'm gonna add one tomatillo. You don't have to do that because I know a lot of you are allergic. But for my liking today, that's what I'm in a mood for. I roasted a whole jalapeno, but I'm gonna test out my waters. <laughs> and if I want more, I have some more uh, on the side that I roasted that I can just slice up and eat with my delicious molcajete. Citrus, and of course, a bunch of your salt to taste. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Taste that, girl. Mmm, that's perfect. This salsa is a blessing, so let me clean this up and clear it out so that I can show us, show you our final steps. Friends, this is called the molcajete. This is where you see a lot of your salsas and your guacamole made, but today we're gonna use it for this delicious. My goodness, I can't, I, I can't I'm too excited. I can't with this. The scorching lava <laughs> Yeah. So, that's how you warm it up. If you guys, it. yeah, be very careful. If you guys have, for example, let me turn it off for a second. If you guys have a electric burner, I'm not sure you're going to have the same effect, okay? So, hold on just a second. Okay, friends. So, I don't want it to fall through because my grooves are very um, large in there. But this is what we're going to do, okay? You're going to put your... Nopal. I can hear the sizzle. I'm gonna put my cheese on the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of cheese in here actually. Girl, that queso fresco that you made. Amazing, well that's why I kept on telling them that I wanted it creamy. Well, that piece is for me. I wanted it creamy so that it was gonna just melt with all of this deliciousness, okay? Mm -hmm. So once you've done that, you can already hear the sizzle. Let me get a bigger spoon real quick. The best part about making this dish is being able to taste your own food as you go along. Yeah. <laughs> Just smother all that salsa in here. And this salsa, when you have your warm tortillas on the side ready for all of this, get ready. This is a really large morcajete because I'm so hungry. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese. And I want my cheese kind of on the side of the morcajete up here so I crisp up a little bit more. You guys already know what I like. I think our keto friends are gonna love this. What is that you're adding? Is that aguacate, mija? Solid gold. Yes. Mm. 
I'm gonna be here for a minute putting all the nice little beef um, drippings, the crispy ones. And I'm gonna pretty much do the exact same thing to the to the green shrimp one, and I'll see you guys on the island when we're ready to ready to indulge. Okay. Look at that baby. What do you guys think? You're excited? Yes. Let's eat. I'm ready and this is, oh yeah, and I haven't even tasted it. Yay! So you can eat this however you want. You can eat it by the spoonful without your tortilla, but right now it's really hot, so this is gonna work perfectly for me, just so that we can get a good tasting. Girl, I can't live my life right now, I'm so excited. See, all my drippings can go back right into my morcajete. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. It's so good. Mmm. Go. I don't even know how I'm going to function after this. Molcajete caliente, the salsa lava avocado molcajete with all the creaminess. And I'm gonna tell you this you guys saw the more that it cooks, that salsa starts cooking, the better the flavor. So make sure you have your tortillas, make sure that you're very safe when you're gonna consume this. It is very hot. Please, please be careful. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and then click that bell uh, for notifications. I do upload every day, so on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow.